Happy Wednesday, video three of my new to me van. I'm gonna keep track of how many miles I put on it. I've put about 70 miles on it so far. 103,982 miles as of, I think it's the 25th, as of February 25, 2020. Hanging out in it right now, cleaning it up. I wanted to do a more thorough walk around of it in my initial impressions video, but it was dirty. I like cleaning up my vehicle first. So I cleaned it up a little yesterday, and this these are the used wipes from yesterday. See how they're all dirty? So what I like to do, it's kind of a tradition of mine, but after I wipe it, I like to leave all the wipes in a cup holder so that the McGuire smell marinates in the vehicle. Now this, now it smells good in here, so there's some McGuire's wipes right there. And then I bought a new sunshade. This is from my old van. It's starting to disintegrate. So I got a new one. That's part of the fun of getting a, a new vehicle, is getting new accessories. I haven't driven a van since November, so got some blind spot mirrors. If you're if you're a regular on my channel, you know that I drive an Abarth as my daily driver, so it's a adjustment period driving a van again, but it's fun. So I got that. Um, I'm gonna fix this as I hang out in here. I'm sort of geeking out over the van. I like the center console a lot, but I need to fix it. My last van, I took the center console out because it was it was really beat up. This is a little beat up, but. It's salvageable. The one in my last van w wasn't salvageable. And this is actually nicer than the one I had in my last van. A lot more storage. So I really like that a lot. Even comes with a little tray. So I like the center console a lot. You know, I'm geeking out over this thing. So the last owner tried to fix it with this strap like that. And I didn't like it because as I was driving, it was rattling around. So, you know, I see the concept of what they were trying you just do this, and that's how you open it, but I have a better idea on how I want to fix that, and I'll upload that probably tomorrow. I'll work on that today, like a uh, improvised fix. If you can't, if you're a center console drawer door, just can't be fixed to factory spec, I have an idea. I'll do that today. So I'm going to go for round two on cleaning. I haven't even started wiping up the back yet. I'm still working on the front and here's how I like to do it. So I'm going to throw all these away. I'm going to throw away all the wipes here, start all over. I like to put a couple on the dash when I start and then uh, I check it. So this is when I know I'm done. I'll go over the interior again. And once the wipes start coming out clean, I know I'm done. So let's do the steering wheel again. And it's looking clean, so I don't think I need to go for a round three. I still need to do the little things like get the crevices, try to get as much dust as I can. But I enjoy this when I get a brand new pre-owned vehicle. I like to get it as clean as I can. So, you know, some dealers, see it's still dirty in the crevices right there I need to get that totally clean you know some dealers detail their vehicle some don't they just pick them up and just you know kind of clean it like uh, my Abarth when I got that it appeared to be pretty detailed but this was you know you could see you know, it's dusty there's a lot of dusty spots it's dirty especially the center console was really dirty so I'm gonna go for round two right now might even go for a round three but you know, it's looking good right now. I like how the dash has no cracks. You know, I don't mind little quirks like this. You know, I gotta probably use some goo gun right here. I don't mind little quirks like that, but I do not like a cracked dashboard. So I'm happy that the dashboard has zero cracks on it. That's just something I can't stand. So there it is. It's hanging out in my van. Once it's really clean, I'll do a more thorough walk around. I'm not going to take out the seats yet. 
I'm going to leave it in shuttle bus mode for about two weeks so I could do a walk around of it while it's still a shuttle, a 15 passenger shuttle minivan, mini bus. And then, uh, then I'll start on removing the seats, keeping a pair in, and converti converting it to the way I like.